Despite efforts to suppress it, the truth about Iran is spreading. And heroes are being born every minute. All it takes is a cell phone and a ton of courage. Welcome to the front line of a revolution struggling to be born. Your guide is the website globalvoices.org. The videos are shot by protesters from inside Iran. This is the scene at a dormitory of the University of Tehran. Witness the damage left behind when police and students clashed. When video is unavailable, still photos serve just as well. The student who shot these pictures also reported that many students were jailed. And here is a video of a woman who does the unthinkable, kicking back at baton-wielding police. The photographer added this vivid description loosely translated. Quote, look at this brave Iranian lioness. First she swing kicks, and then she side kicks. The Neanderthal truncheon-wielding riot guard. She gets a few baton strikes, but this is the price for freedom, and she cares not. Even the paid professionals are resorting to cell phones when expensive equipment is too obvious. Here's ABC's Jim Shuto again. Our shooting permission revoked by police. We filmed the protests on our cell phones. Down, down with the dictator. That's what the protesters have been shouting. The dictator, in their view, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Hundreds of riot police just down the end of the street on motorcycles, swinging batons, attacking protesters. There's no telling if the protest movement can survive the arrests and the media suppression, not to mention deadly bullets. But for now, the story is being told. And the world is learning again the power of the truth and brave people willing to tell it.